Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. The title of this clip is uh, Federal Universities in Nigeria Up for the Grab. In other words, for sale. It is now official. Courtesy of the voluntary disclosure by the Minister for Education, Professor Hit Mamma, that the federal government has come to a final conclusion that for Nigerian youth to have qualitative education in court and for them to be able to go to further their own studies, and in view of the inability and lack of capacity and resources of the federal government to keep on funding tertiary institutions, it has come to a final conclusion that uh, investors will have the gates of all federal universities and institutions to come in and invest. In other words, gates of universities are now opened for anybody with any source of money, legitimate, questionable, doubtful, fraudulent, to come and invest and take over the universities. This is quite an interesting time. If you say you want children to have quality education, but you said an investor will come in and invest, investors are not fools. They are coming in to make profit. As we stand today, it is impossible for majority of our youth to go to the university or other higher institutions. With the coming of an investor, it is completely impossible, completely untenable, completely not practicable. Which means this policy is meant to send away children of the poor the indigent and the downtrodden from being educated forever because an investor will come in and charge three million four million five million ten million depending on the cost which means up in issue you have eliminated over 90 percent of those aspiring to be educated up to the university level or up to higher or beyond secondary school level this is wickedness of the highest order people who are formulating these policies got educated free on a flatter of gold in a serene environment with quality teachers they are the same people now who are destroying the educational sector the same sector that they did not build they woke up and saw a working educational system which they are now willing to destroy for their own personal and selfish reasons and to be sure, no responsible investor will come from any part of the world to come and invest into education in Nigeria. Why do I say so? Investors are not fools. No investor will come and put his money in Federal University Zampara. Or he goes to Kebbi, or Sokoto, or Kaduna, or Kasena, or Kogi, or Kwara, or Benue, or Taraba, or Nasarawa, or Borno, or Yobe, and invest. They are not fools. If you see a white man coming, and you will see many of them, or any foreigner for that matter, coming into Nigeria to say, I, bring, I am bringing in money to invest in university, that money must have been the stolen money, stolen by Nigerians, taken outside, now finding a way of bringing it back to continue as uh, aspectating us, to continue exploit, expo exploiting us and to continue destroying the future of even the generation yet are born. That is how sad it is. When we begin to ask, where are our legislators? Where are the senators? Where are the members? Where are the ministers? Where are the clergies? Where are the clerks? They are all around. Some clergies and some clerics have been permanently compromised. In National Assembly, we have only one party under APC. Don't ever think of a PDP senator or a PDP member, or a level member or a level senator. No, they are now standing on his mandate. 
That is why there is no opposition. That is why Tinubu has so far borrowed 21 trillion naira without pimp from members of the National Assembly. That is why he has transferred federal agencies outside of Abuja, no single word coming from them, except few objections. That is why the economy is being destroyed and everybody is keeping quiet. That is why he's opening the universities for investors, nobody will talk. That is why his regime is promoting and protecting and projecting and looking away when our ethical morality is being assaulted by being signatory to the LGTB Samoa Agreement and the Pact. Well, luckily, those who go to extreme beyond the boundaries set by God are immediately going to be destroyed. All these actions, all these assaults, all these insults, all these derailments, all this arrogance and greed are going beyond the boundaries set by God. And even if Nigerians don't pray for God to help them, for God to save, to save them, there is no point. God will save us. God will be on our side always. And God will annihilate all those people who are making life difficult for Nigerians. Those who are shortchanging Nigerians. Those who are, those who are, who are stealing Nigerians' money. Those who are dipping their hands into the, empty, in, uh, into the treasury and emptying it as if there was no yesterday or tomorrow will not come. We are looking forward to a day when we will laugh. We will laugh louder. We will laugh last. We will be happy. We will enjoy. We will marry. And we shall pray the songs of God. We shall praise the name of God. We will thank God for saving us at the time we never expected. From the angle we never expected. At the moment of our dear needs. The zoo's economy is falling. If you're a Nigerian, a monkey abroad, you are despised at home. The world despises your economy as you have now lost 1.122 trillion in four most capitalized firms. Stakeholders of four most capitalized companies in the zoo stock market lost about 1.1 trillion between January and March 2015. People are withdrawing their money from the zoo. They know the zoo is collapsing. And I will advise some of you as well. Start to withdraw your money from the banks very, very slowly. Convert it into dollar, euro, or pound and keep it. I will come back and say, do you remember a few weeks ago? If I can remember the date, I will tell you. Do you remember our broadcast of the 12th of March 2015 at exactly um, um, 25 minutes past 8 p.m. in the evening when I told you, go and withdraw your money from the banks in Nigeria, convert your money into a foreign currency and keep it somewhere safe. What happened before will happen to you again. You watch and see what will happen to you. And when it happens, I will not feel sorry for you. Do you know what I will say to you? Le Kwanya Rashiam, I told you so before. White people are running away from the economy. The stock market sometimes is a mirror of what is happening in the economy. If investors are taking their money and running, go and take your money from the banks. Convert it into foreign currency convert it into foreign currency and keep it because the naira is gone the zoo's economy is finished and the zoo must crumble